I'm Yvette Fielding and welcome to Most Halted, the live series. For the remaining three weeks of the run, we are inviting you to join us live as we conduct paranormal investigations into some of the country's scariest buildings. Also on Tuesday nights at 10 o'clock, you'll get the chance to see the best bits from tonight's show and the uncut investigations that we carry out before and after we're on air in Most Haunted Unseen. Last week, we investigated the terrifying Rufford Old Hall near Ormskirk in Lancashire. Behind me. Oh, the cart's rocking. Did you see it? Yes, I did. Is it the door? Yeah, the door. Oh, what, 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 I have a horrible feeling about this. Back to tonight and a building that I believe to be one of the scariest places we have ever investigated. Tonight I have brought my team to South Wales and the blood-curdling Golden Grove Mansion. Between 1827 and 1832, Golden Grove Mansion has over 150 abandoned rooms. The mansion was built by the Vaughan family, Earls of Cordor, who were granted the land through an inheritance. The previous owners were the childless lady and Lord Bolton, whose family built the original mansion on this spot back in the 1560s. But it is the Cordor peerage that has left its mark on this site. One of the Earls of Cordor is believed to be one of the many malevolent spirits that is said to still haunt this dilapidated old house. Believed to have been a sadistic man, local people say that in a violent rage he cut off the finger of a servant who disobeyed him. Is this just folklore or might we come across this violent spectre tonight? But this Earl is not the only member of the family said to still haunt this place. A male figure is seen in the archway near the main entrance. He's in his 40s and is believed to be the fourth Earl of Cordor. Also, a later Earl, believed to have been an aggressive drunk, is also said to still reside here. At night, eyewitnesses say that they have seen him careering through the mansion's empty corridors. Like most stately homes of the time, Golden Grove was a hive of activity, with the family being attended to by a small army of servants. The corridor and the adjoining rooms are said to echo with the sounds of times past. The clattering of servants as they go about their business play out day after day. Hushed whispers can be heard when clearly there is no one here. Or is there? Over the years, members of the Cordor Peerage spent less and less time at Golden Grove, preferring instead to use their Scottish estate. With the outbreak of World War II and the eventual joining of the Allies by the United States, the house was used as a base for the American Air Force. Today, many people believe that some of those airmen still remain. It is in these cellars that people talk of being faced by an angry figure dressed in an American uniform. He confronts unsuspecting visitors, leaving them in no doubt that they are not welcome in this his lair. With so much paranormal activity to investigate, what will we uncover tonight? We have two hours to find out.
I'm joined now by parapsychologist Dr. Kieran O'Keefe, welcome, and our historian Leslie Smith. Now, Leslie, you have been researching like a wild thing all week because this place is huge and it's got such an amazing history. It has, an, and mostly because of the people who were here. Mm. Think of the houses essentially in core, built in the Tudor periods, about the 1560s, and then added to later on. The characters we really want to get locked into are the Vaughan family, and they were here for century upon century. And some of them were very strange indeed, one particularly fighting in the Civil War war who did such a rubbish job of it they lost the whole of South Wales for the king because he had no military experience but was in a key role and then when we get to 1804 we get another family get involved the Earl of Cawdor those families also the family name the Campbells is that the one that chopped off the finger or is that just folklore no actually it's sort of one of those marvelous mixes of both it wasn't a Campbell who did that he was actually going back to the Vaughans and we know in such a senior role the man I was just talking about um, in about 1672 he had to resign his his post, which was a very senior post after the restoration of Charles II. He had a lead role, although he'd lost great chunks of Wales in the war. Um, and uh, he actually did chop off people's fingers, it said, mutilated, not just them, but tenants as well, servants, tenants, and also there's talk of taking people's tongues out. Nice. And his son was described as the lewdest man in England. Fantastic. So we have two great families in terms of bad, mad and dangerous to know. And of course, it was also used, wasn't it, uh, for American It um, was. Yes, it it's, had, um, it's also had folks staying here, the military staying here to do with the Americans, that's right. And there was talk about the future, you know. There's a great drive in the area for this wonderful, huge property to be put to a great use of bringing wounded servicemen here uh, in current and future conflicts. And it's a wonderful part of, of Great Britain, this lovely part of Wales, where no doubt recuperation will be all the better for the beauty of the area. So, so much to get our teeth into. Now, Kieran, before I have a chat with you, let's meet somebody who knows this building incredibly well. My name is Gay Ryan. I'm a paranormal investigator with Ghost Watch Wales. The most active parts of the house are the cellar, the long corridor on the first floor, and also the first floor on top of the stairs where there is a piano and this is quite strange, we were in here a couple of weeks back in the daytime and we heard the, the tinkling of the keys on the piano so I thought, oh somebody's messing about with the piano and we went in there and, and it was closed I wouldn't like to be the one in there tonight <laughs> if Yvette and Carl are going to be in there with the team tonight they're going to have their hands full because this place is really, really haunted Now, Kieran, we've heard from the eyewitnesses. Leslie's been researching like a demon. It's a fantastic location. So what are you looking forward to tonight, you know, most of all about this particular place? Well, the eyewitness reports there's apparitions, there's sense of presence, there's sound-related phenomena as well. But everything has this menacing quality about it, and maybe it does come from the history part. And so I'm a bit concerned about how the team are going to react knowing some of the history, I think. Um, we're going to get a lot of very, very scared people tonight. I mean, we're, as usual, what we found, haven't we, on this series, and I can hear it now, a lot of, you know, this knocking constantly. And as we're talking now, I can feel it underneath my feet. I don't know if you can hear it. It's it all that's going on yes, there. Yes, we can hear it. it. Yeah. Okay, we've got a lot to look forward to. I can't wait to get stuck into this place. Now, last week we were investigating Rufford Old Hall in Lancashire and were astounded by the spate of door banging. Yes, door banging, Kieran. <laughs> Have a look at this. You quite you behind me. Don't we be the door? Chris, Chris asked for a door to slam shut. Uh, we've just heard a door slam shut. Was that you guys? Uh, no, no, no. It just did it on its own. Ask Chris to do it again. Chris, <coughs> thank you, Bartholomew. We appreciate you showing your existence, proving to the other people in this building. Come on, can you please that make door. a door slam again? Can't hear what we can hear. It's quite loud. Ah! All right. <laughs> now, Kieran, you were downstairs while all of that was going on. What do you make to it? I find it fascinating that there's a particular phenomena associated with a location. And let's be clear to the viewers at home, we're talking about doors banging that don't happen naturally. It's not just they're left open and they suddenly slam of their own accord. 
However, as a skeptic, you know what I'm going to say, it would be nice to have the full footage of the door so we can be 100% sure. But, you know, fascinating phenomena, and let's see what happens at the next location. I mean, for me, I was there. It was, it was truly amazing to actually watch these massive doors just slam, knowing that there was nobody else behind it. And as you say, there was no, there was no, there's no natural explanation yeah, it's for it. not a natural it. explanation no. for it at all. And I loved it, absolutely. So let's hope we get a little bit more of that uh, tonight. Well, join us after the break when we'll be joined by medium Chris Conway and find out what spirits he believes still roam Golden Grove Mansion. Welcome back to Most Haunted, the live series. I brought my investigation team to the Golden Grove Mansion here in South Wales. It really is a box of delights. Um, absolutely fantastic. When you first walk into this place, you can just see what's ahead of you and you just think, I just yeah. can't wait to investigate it. It's all sort of crumbling and derelict, but it apparently, according to Leslie, has the most amazing history. Some not so good, some very good. And uh, as, again, Leslie's already mentioned, they're already thinking about doing something with this magnificent place for the good. So Chris, again, walking into this fantastic place. As usual with a lot of the locations that we come to, there's always this sort of central feature of a magnificent staircase. Yes. Can you sense anywhere on the staircase or around this sort of hall area? The, the, the first thing that's, that's coming to me, is, it's quite strange because as I'm walking in, I've got a spirit, um, a man named... John, but I've not got a second in you, but he's shown me that this staircase is here, but what he's shown me is a staircase here, and it's going up, and it's as it, it, if he's shown me somewhere else, mm -hmm. and, that, but he's telling me that he belongs here, but he's shown me, it's almost like a different, as if, I don't know if this, has been, this place has been redeveloped or, or what, but he's shown me this, this different, this, as you walk in the door, it's a different door and it's a staircase leading right, right in front of you, which so is quite, here, it's quite confusing. So from here, a staircase mm -hmm. going straight up yeah, there? Yeah, he's, he's shown me this staircase. Oh, and can you, can you quite, see this John? This John, um, quite, quite a small chap, he's, it looks, to, he's, got, he's got sort of long hair, but it's very, at the top it's very thin and it's sort of straggly. Um, he's got like a, it's like a sort of grey suit, quite, quite um, thick material that, um, that, that, he, that he's wearing. From what and as time I say, period? 1500s, I think we're looking oh, at right, here. Okay. Um, so when you say a grey suit, what sort yeah, of suit are you talking about here? I'm not very good with, with fashions, even for mm. older fashions, but it's like, it's not like my suit. My suit's quite sort of thin and mm. this, this is like a sort of thick, it's, um, um, no, it's not a sack, but it's like that sort of material, as if it's like a sort of sack material, quite grisly and mm. rough. That's that's a sort of tweed, like a tweed sort of jacket. Yes, it's, it's, like, it's, not, it's not tweed, but it's that sort of that sort of material. So it wouldn't be and gentry then, or it, it wouldn't be of the upper classes in the tu in, in that, that That's the thing. I'm pretty sure he is. Oh, okay. I'm pretty sure he is, which is he's quite a a confusing spirit because it, the way, as I say, he's shown me that rather than w what's here mm. and the way he's dressed, mm. but I'm pretty sure this guy is mm. upper class. Because mm. um, in that, in those time periods it would have been difficult, I suppose, to just to say a suit and decipher yeah. clothes and so on, so yeah. it's, it is a quite a difficult thing. Now, we come into a different room, it could have been once a dining room or, I don't know really, a library or anything. Yeah. Do you pick up what rooms used to be? Can you see them as they used to be? Sometimes I can, sometimes I can't. I, this I'm not seeing what it used to be, but as we did walk in here, there was a, another gentleman waiting for us. This gentleman, the first guy that we met was very pleasant, very sort of welcome, nice guy. This guy that we're meeting is, I'm going to say sick, as in very, very, as if, it's almost as if he was, was like a torturer. If, if that makes sense, mm -hmm. but it's almost as if um, he, would, he would torture people and he would do really nasty things to people. And that, that's what this guy, and I'll describe this guy to you. Do, do you know, do you remember the films with the musketeers? Yeah. That's what this guy looks like. Mm -hmm. But it's almost as if um, he, would, he would torture people and he would do really nasty things to people. And that, that's what this guy, and I'll describe this guy to you. Do you know? Do you remember the films with the musketeers? Yeah. That's what this guy looks like. He looks like a musketeer. He's got like, this sort of white sort of thing around here and he's got like a sort of velvety jacket 
in sort of velvety trousers and he's got like sort of boots mm -hmm. and he's got long dark hair. I'm not saying he has a musketeer, but that's the way that the sort of image that he's presenting himself to me to, to be. Um, the name with him? The, the, the name with him. No, come on. I'm pretty sure this guy's name is Richard. Mm -hmm. I'm pre pretty sure. I'm not 100% with the first guy, but I'm, but I'm pretty sure it's, it's Richard. And so when he's seeing us, does he want mm -hmm. to do terrible things oh, to yeah, us? Yeah. Oh, yeah. As, as we're coming in, we're on, we're on his land, and it's very much get, get off my land. And, and do you know how, how this gentleman died, or do you know how long he lived for, what age he passed over? Come on. Come on. No. No? He's basically... It, it's more to get us out than, than, than to communicate with me. Oh. And it's more, and the reason I'm saying he's like a torturer is because the things he's shown me, he's actually shown me the kind of things that he'd be doing. And well, the kind of things he's shown... What, what's he the, doing then? The kind of things he's shown me, he's actually pulling somebody's hair out the roots. And that's the kind of thing he's shown me. He's, he's, they've got a man down, and they've got this man here, and they're pulling hair right out his head. And where would they have done this? In this building? In this, bu in this building, so? yeah, I would say so. In this, this area. Um, very, very nasty character. And that's the kind of thing that he's shown me. And he's basically saying, if you don't get out, this, what's th th this is what's going to happen to, oh. happen to you. Just say, as we've been walking around, the EMF meter has been um, varying around 10 milligauss. And normally when we've done derelict properties, you might get two or three, and certainly we've got cabling around. But it's quite consistent, eight, nine, ten milligauss, which means there's still some wiring, or perhaps some live wiring. Well, there's in no electricity building. in this place at all. We, we're having to use a generator to, so that we can use our, our, our cameras here. So, and light, so it, that is a little bit unusual. Yeah, it just means later on, maybe me going up to some of the upper rooms and just checking if there's any other sources up there. And I'll keep an eye on it. Just in case anybody's watching and think, what on earth is Doctor? Doctor, <laughs> he has got a stethoscope on. Yeah. Now, our sound guys have, 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 have kitted you up with this stethoscope, yeah. and we've actually put um, a microphone. Yeah, um, essentially everybody's familiar with the stethoscope. Um, they've rigged up a microphone in this, and so that anything I hear through the stethoscope, for example, if there is tapping noise, um, Matt will a be able to hear it, and of course the truck will be able to get a direct feed from it. But, dare I say, it will look very comical. It will look you with your, with, your, with your stethoscope in. So yeah. we'll have to put the laughing to one side, but hopefully we'll be able to hear the knocking, and you never know, you might be impressed by it. I might be. Okay. Can I say one yes, last thing, course. sorry? Just as we're standing talking there, I've had somebody else walk in and he's basically came through to me and he's happy to see me mm -hmm. and he's saying that it's one of us. And this guy, I, I, I know we're in Wales, but this guy's Scottish and this guy's well to, very well to do. He's got, he's got the, 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 the really expensive black suit on and it's very much as we walked in and he's got the, the broad Scottish accent, broader than mine, mm -hmm. and, he, he can, and he's very happy to see me and it's basically, oh, it's one of us, it's one of us. Mm -hmm. And this guy's really... Um, Any name really happy. At the moment, I don't have a name for this guy, but I'm hoping, I'm pretty sure I will have names for this guy okay. later on, because he's very happy to see well, me. Well, we've had knocking all day while we've been here, and we can hear it now as we're talking. I know a little bit of um, the history here, because Leslie sort of shared it with me. <laughs> Quite good. Uh, pretty good. Well done. On the way in, you talked about John. Now, there's lots of Johns. It's a very mm. common name. We have to be a bit wary. What I loved, you said, the staircase wasn't there, the staircase was there. And I can tell you that there was a lot of work being done to this property. Yeah. Although it's an old property, what you're seeing, I'm pretty sure, from what you're describing of the tweed clothes, uh, the hair... Well, would that have been, sorry to interrupt, tweed clothing in those times, in the 1500s? Would they have worn We're not that talking about 1500s, we're talking about the handover in about 1804. Ah, but you said 1500s. Yeah. Well, the 1500s, when the house first was, the only tweed that would have been worn at that time would have been um, not in this part of the world very easily, although there was some of that cloth mm. development. Yeah. When the staircase was issued, you described the later one uh, now I'm quite interested in the change mm. that's being shown to us so that's yeah. brilliantly well done on yeah. that and um, then you talked about Richard didn't find a surname I couldn't hear a surname no. Yes, no, I'm not going right well all I can tell you is with the torture and everything bang on mm. Mm. Nasty, nasty piece of work did you get a sense of his age I didn't. I asked no, that, I, yeah. I, I yeah, no, I wanted to do what the answer yes, We know that one, yeah, don't so we? I'm wondering about that one as well. Um, and then you're coming to this last part. There is a Scot who's very influential, he's very well to do here, but you haven't given us a name yet. Just but no, he's definitely one of yours, yeah. or you're one of his. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Fantastic, and brilliant with the, the um, 
EMF, fantastic. Join us after the break when we'll be turning off all the lights and uh, turning on our night vision cameras and attempting to make contact with the spirit, hopefully uh, said to haunt this most haunted of mansion cinema. makes people feel particularly uncomfortable. Whispering is heard from hidden mouths and the feeling that illicit plots are being hatched leaves visitors keen to leave for fear that something untoward will happen to them. A wailing woman is heard stalking through its corridors, striking fear into all who witness her heart-wrenching cries, while the kitchens, although long unused, still resonate with sounds of rattling trays and clanking dishes. The figure of a man in a butler's uniform hurrying belligerently towards guests has caused these very same people to run screaming from the mansion's doors. Welcome back to Most Haunted, the live series. We're here at the Golden Grove in South Wales, a magnificent mansion with so many rooms and corridors, a fantastic history. But I have to say, during the day there's been a type of atmosphere which has totally changed now all the lights in the whole of the building and it is a massive building have been turned off um, lots of us have been seeing things we've had things thrown at us during the day we've had all sorts of strange noises occurring but uh, now as I said we turn off the lights um, and we're in a small group we have Leslie Kieran and Chris Conway uh, in the hub they're keeping an eye as usual on four locked off cameras which are placed in some of the most haunted locations in the whole of the building and um, that's myself there's Carl there's Stuart and um, there is Matt on sound there's Kath and there is Chris Burton on camera and um, there's also sorry Chris if we can get there George has to stand by all of the microphones there George stand out and give us a wave can you see him yep. can you see him yep. Chris brilliant we are the only people here in the whole of the building and it's a huge building so <laughs> let's crack on let's walk through into uh, one of the first rooms careful not to tread on me blimey I've just been told by Kieran as well that there are bats upstairs hi Kieran Hi, just to remind you that there are bats above you. We've seen them again on CCTV, above you on the second floor. Thank you so much for that, Kieran. I don't know whether I probably wish that you hadn't said anything. Okay. Right, should we do a little call out, guys? Okay. Matt, where are you? You come stand right by me. Okay, everybody stand still. If there's anybody here that... Okay, stay there. Stay there. How many of you are here? feet. Matt, bring the microphone right in to where our feet are. Okay. Do you mean as harm? Two for yes, one for no. So all of you mean as harm? There can be one talking to us, surely. Okay. The person who's talking to us, are you a man? Yes. Okay. Is your name Vaughan? Yeah, but if it means it's harm, oh, I'm just surprised. If it means it's harm, would it not give a tip? Oh, sorry, Carl. So I'll turn my okay. Oh, mine's off. Leslie, um, we're getting a communication um, through uh, with the knocking. Um, somebody that's saying that they mean us harm. I've asked, is the name Vaughan? 
um, he is saying that he's a man and he's saying no. Can you give me another name, please? Or perhaps Chris could possibly uh, give it. So, give us another name. I heard that. That's in the other room. Um, I'd like to give you the name Campbell, please. You can ask that, please. Okay. That's in the other room. Okay. Is your name Campbell? No. It's going to be in the other room. room. Like I heard that. You won't have picked that up because we were concentrating on the knocking, weren't we, Matt? Okay, but it was it was a. Uh, okay. Is that you, George? Yeah, All right, through here, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It has uh, Leslie uh, saying no to the name Campbell. Well, um, I'm being told here by Chris that the name is in fact Richard, the one who was here earlier. But um, that's disputing the surname, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Richard Vaughan. But it's saying no. I'll try again. Okay. Everybody stand still. Oh, yeah. What the? Could you ask if his name is Carberry, which is, of course, the seat name rather than the surname? He may be pompous about this. If you are quite aggressive about the name Carberry, is it you? Then um, maybe you may get a response. Okay, I will ask that and then for quiet, please, after that. Thank you. Is your name Carberry? I don't like this. That's really scary. I don't like this. There's something, mm -hmm. in my experience, something's going to play with us tonight. Something's going to mess us about. That's right, isn't it? You're going to mess us about. Has it gone even colder in here than normal? I don't know. Let's ask for some noises vo vocally. Can you make noises with your voices, please? Shout out. Can you copy me? I'll do it again. Can you copy me, please? Uh... It's got a lot colder. It's almost like you're waiting for something to happen. I know. Let's move into a different area. If we move out of here, we might hear those noises again. Go back that way. Yeah, let's get back the way we came. Watch out, Chris. You're going to walk into the back of the door. Well, 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 Chris. Yeah, yeah it doesn't feel right. You feeling dizzy? Oh, you all right? You okay, Cap? Yeah, it's just the floor. So we uneven. Sorry for the tones, me, me going, oh, and oh, and all that kind of stuff. But sometimes you do get a really good reaction. I have no idea why. But they, sometimes they like to copy you or make noises of their own. And we have had luck with that in the past, but... Is there anyone else in it? it, it oh, shit. What? Fuck. What? I can't see you. Where are you? Sorry, I'm by the door. You okay? Okay, uh, now. I'm sorry for swearing. I, I, I just... I thought I saw some, a figure standing. You see where you can just see the... The, the, the door the open, yeah. I thought I saw a figure there, but... I was walking to, to this and I turned to, to you and said, to say, is there anybody, any other crew on here? And something was standing there that I thought I was going to walk into and that's when I stopped oh, right. abruptly and swore because... What's down there? Oh, that's another move. Hello? I just want to see if there is any crew down there. Hey, did you hear that? I thought I heard. Do you remember the squeaking noises? I thought I heard. Do you remember the squeaking noises? Carl, where have you gone? I'm just seeing if there's any crew down here. No. Are you 
talking about what we've heard so you know R. F. Raynham. Yes. I just heard a high pitch. Did you hear it? Yeah, I heard They didn't hear it in the. They didn't hear it in the truck. They just told me in my earpiece. But it was a high pitched. You know that that noise. That. But we've heard that through the day. Have you? Yes. If there is anybody here, if there are spirit people here, I know you are here. I believe that you are here, whether you are good or bad. Come and make yourselves known to us now. Can we hear you walk down these stairs? There. It's almost on the door frame. Downstairs, I don't think it sounds to me like it's on the door frame, man, behind you. Did you think so? I it was the stairs. Did you? Did you all, did you, all eight of you, did you all live here? You did. That's like it's walking up and down the stairs just here. Do you want us to come upstairs? Can you make it louder? See, it doesn't sound like it's on the stairs to me at all. Do you know what it sounds like? It's coming from to me. Here. Here. In this door frame. Yeah. Just to see if you get it louder. You watch, it'll change direction now. That's oh, God. The stairs. No, it's on the stairs. Yes. That's definitely on the stairs. Will you do something to one of us if we stand on the stairs? Stand in the middle of the stairs up there. What, not that? Oh, yeah, here. go up, go up, 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 up. That's it. Right, how do you feel at the moment? So far. Okay. I have to admit. I... <gasps> oh, what was that? George? Sorry, that was me. There's George. <sighs> That's around me, that's here. No. Walk up to Carl. Shit. Okay. Now it's down here. Can you do something? Can you make a noise much louder than this? Someone's getting close to this. It's freezing cold on these stairs. Hello? There's two of them knocking. There's two of them. There's two of them. What, what oh, whoa. Right. Okay, can we check that back, please, if we can? Oh! Are you alright, Carl? Is, is anyone upstairs? No! There's, there's, there's right, someone. Can you get, can you can go upstairs, up? Chris? Let's go, let's go. Can we try? Can we try? Just before there's we there's someone there, there because I sort of saw something. One at a time. There's someone there. Nice and slowly, let's not make too much noise. Hello? There's nobody up here. Kieran, can you see anybody? Has anybody moved at all on the webcam by the stairs, please, on the first floor? Hello, Yvette. Definitely not. We have seen nothing on that upstairs part where you are now. Okay, very loud knocking noises. Carl just thinks he's seen somebody on the first floor. Hello? Definitely not seen anyone. He's here. He's definitely here. Definitely not. Remember, the camera is only getting a small part of that upstairs. Carl, it's here. Oh, shit. What's the matter? Oh, my God. Oh, God, it's walking. Something came right close to me then. It was almost like... Yeah, I had that Okay, everybody just stand still. Nobody move. Keep fairly still. You went underneath my feet. Chris, on my feet. Get the microphone there. Okay. Keep still. Oh! 
Whoa, what was that? Sorry. I can't understand. I'm not sure she's Visitors daring to ascend the staircase to the upper floor are immediately struck with an almost unbearable sense of grief. A sobbing man has been seen at the top of the stairs, whilst children's laughter echo through its deserted rooms. Distressed witnesses have felt as though they've been touched by ice-cold hands and that their clothing has been tugged as if they're being invited to follow these poor spectres. A hostile man has been seen on the landing. When approached, he turns momentarily to face his adversary, before disappearing. Chillingly, the blood-curdling screams of a frenzied woman reverberate through the walls of the upper floor. Why are the spirits of the Golden Grove Mansion trapped in turmoil, and why are they so reluctant to leave? Welcome back to Most Haunted the Live series. We're here in an extraordinary place in South Wales. It really is very strange. We started the investigation on the ground floor. There's a small group of us. Uh, Leslie, uh, Dr. Kieran O'Keefe and Chris, Chris Conway in the hub. Uh, myself, Carl, Chris Burton, Stuart, Matt and Kath and George uh, are all with us here on the first floor. We've moved up a floor. Um, the first part of the investigation, we're getting the most incredible knocking noises. And at one point, there were sort of knocking noises coming from one part of the staircase, then another. And it actually did sound, didn't it, Carl, like something was rushing past you. And you felt the temperature drop. And it was really yeah, I mean, quite... It was, it was good. In the, in the break, I've just had a full check up here, because I definitely saw somebody up here. I've just had a check. There's no one else up here. I mean, obviously, we're up here now, but there, there was no one else up here. So... Well, can I say something? I didn't mean to interrupt you earlier on. Do you know when you came up, Carl? Yeah. And you said you saw something. Well, just before we actually came on air, I actually came up the stairs because I thought I saw something or someone leaning over the uh, well, that's where That's where it was. It was here. But there was nothing there, so I didn't really say anything. So. OK, well, let's just do a little bit of a call out here. Everybody remain totally quiet and see if we get any noises coming from these rooms off this main staircase area and we'll go to where the noise is. Hopefully we'll get something. So everybody keep still. Are you the same person talking to us? Keep still. What is that? What is that noise? It's walking. George? Yeah. Can you hear that out there? It's not me. Can you get up and watch it? I can hear a knocking. Oh, you can? Yeah. Okay. That door's just closed. I see that. There's no one there. It goes round in a circle. Full circle. There's George there. What noise did you hear, George? Uh, just, just a knocking. 
Because we were hearing it where we were, and it was like a, 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 a separate locking noise. And then that door's just slammed. Everybody go back to where we, everybody's together. Carl, everybody back to where we were. Try and remember where you were stood. Oh, what? You right? oh, What's the matter? You okay? Sorry, it's, it's cable. I thought something okay. happened behind me. Okay, everybody stand still. George, you stood still? Yeah. Torches off? Yeah. Door, door. Was it you who just closed the door? Help me. Are you picking that up? Make that noise louder. That's loud. Okay. What does that mean? This heartbeat thing. Okay. Stopped. Can you slam another door? Again, George. Uh, not better, no. no, it was like. Do you know what it, it was like? Yeah, it. Radiators. There's no radiators here. Well, there is. There's over there. there. It was like something. You know, like a ring on on on. I can't do it. Like, wasn't it? Yeah. Just there's a noise in here. Have you? Shit! Something's touched my head. Did it? Give me something for me to see. Okay. I just heard like a moan from in here. Ah! Oh, sorry. What? Oh, me. Was it? Was it? Yes. The what? I heard it fall. There's so much stuff in here. Is it where Cathy shared a torch in the way Cathy? It was right behind me here. Is that door behind the bush to shut again? Oh, God, look. Door's gone again. Who was through the door? A real one. Who was? I don't know, we just go through it. I wonder what that was. Because there's so much plaster and debris all over the place, it can be really difficult to source anything. That was that. Carl? Stuart? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see if we can get into this bit. The door is open now. Door is open. Cass just has something thrown. Okay. Thank you very much for doing these things, but we need more. We need more. What you just missed, I don't know if you heard it, was a woman alone on the top of the knocking noise. Did we all hear that? I didn't hear that. Okay. It's not in this room. No, it's not. It's outside. So I don't think you would have heard it at home. It was a woman's yeah. over the knocking noise. Shh. Still. Right, stand still. Okay. Chris, go down to the floor, go down on the floor, go down on the floor where Matt's feet are. Keep still. Is there a woman present here? Come towards us, this lady who is here now. 
I know there's a lady present here. I want you to walk towards us, whoever you are. Come towards us now. Come towards us now, this lady. Come towards me. Make your presence known to us. I want to hear your voice. Make a noise with your voice, please. There's two, there's two different ones. Is there a man here? Is there a woman here too? I think, I think that sharper one is the woman and it's a duller one that seems to stop me crying out there. Okay. Maybe I'm wrong. Okay. okay. Yeah. That was, there was two bands out when you said the sharper one was the woman. Right. Okay. The woman who made the noise before, make the noise again. Call out. Shout your name if you can. Come on, come on, come on. Can you copy me? Sorry for everybody at home. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Can you copy me, please? your voice. What? Right. What did you hear? Oh, I Come up here, guys. That's what I heard. What did you hear? We both looked at the yes. same time, Chris, didn't we? Yeah. As though something went by quickly. What did you hear, Carl? No, I thought I saw a huge shadow here, and there's nothing, but there's, no, there's nothing up here. So what we're getting at the minute, we've heard, which everybody at home didn't hear, was a woman's moan. We're getting knocking like the builders are in. It's like someone's got a hammer underneath the boards, isn't it? Knock where my hand is. <laughs> Won't do it to order. Can you? No, it's knocking somewhere else. You can hear it in the distance. That was Carl walking. No, no, no. no, no. It's behind no, Chris. No, no. Yeah. It's extraordinary. You can never... What the hell? I can hear a voice in there. You're hearing a voice? Yeah. What sort of voice? Man, woman? It's a woman. It's a woman. Maybe she can't talk. Were you murdered here? <coughs> Carl? I'm here. Where it's are you? Me. I'm here. It's not, it's not, there's nothing near me. As you descend into the basement, a sense of being watched by menacing eyes engulfs you. A male figure has been seen entering its doorways, and voices of people long since dead have been heard mimicked by this hateful apparition. People have felt the sensation of their hair being stroked, and have been startled by objects moving unexplainably across its deserted floors. More frightening than this, the face of an enraged man has been witnessed on more than one occasion. The vision appears threateningly close to visitors, causing them to feel as if they are about to be struck aggressively. Which odious spirit resides here, and why must he strike fear into the hearts of visitors to the lower floor? Welcome back to Most Wanted Live. Um, myself, um, Kath, um, and Leslie, 
have come down to the basement. The rest of the team are watching uh, in the hub. They're also keeping an eye on the other cameras. I've got my walkie-talkie and I'm on camera. Um, George has settled uh, the radio mics down at the bottom, but at some point he might have to come down and, and readjust the radio mics if we go into different rooms. So come on then, guys. One of you must go first. Ooh, what's that? It's Kathy. Really really back. I'll remind you ladies not to be hysterical and not to scream, okay? Not to scream? Try not to scream, Les. Well, how can you stop yourself if you get, you know, a bit jumpy? It's like if you need a wee, you just clench yourself. I can do that as well. Okay. Right. This is... Oh, my God, how dark is this? Right. I want to... I think we should get to the middle here. There's, there's little rooms off. Okay. And then... That's the cable you can hear. Uh, Shall I grab it? Yeah, just lift it off. Um, that's it. Do you want to put a torch on? Just a little bit. Uh, what, just a little torch? That's, what do you mean a little torch? Just a torch. Oh, sorry. What are you not doing? You're rolling over the cable. <laughs> Jeez. What the fuck? Right. It's like the, the three Lola stooges. Lola. Yeah, right. Okay. That's it's a webcam. Very dark, there. very sinister. And all the time we've been down here, I feel we're being followed. Right. Now, we're right in the centre of this corridor. So now, I'm going to call out. Okay. I'm getting up against a wall. Brilliant. Okay. Everybody really concentrate. If you followed us down here, please make yourselves known. I really want to talk to you. I know you're here. So many people don't believe in you. I do. We do, don't we? We do. We flipping do. <gasps> what? Dragging again. Footsteps. There's something shuffling. It's like the dragging sound sounds like. But it's very. It's getting closer down this end here. You heard it as well, didn't you? Did you hear it? No. Please, can you come towards us? If your name is Richard Vaughan... You are right, Les? You're doing that funny, breathy thing. I, yeah, I do that. I know. Am I going to have to slap your face? No, what it is, is if it's Richard Vaughan, I'd rather have you slap my face than him. Because he's <laughs> an absolute monster. How would I say it in Welsh? Vaughan. Don't uh, you say it, Leslie, because I know it's a bit of a... Go on. Vochan. Yeah. Vochan. Richard Vochan. Vochan. <gasps> no, there's definitely movement. Where? To my... Here, here, here. In round this corner. Come on, let's go in. Vochan. What's in, what's in here? It looks like a wine cellar. Of course, there might be rats, mightn't there? Oh, great, Les. Great. Thanks very much well, for the thought. That. What did you say that well, for? Well, it's just a thought, isn't it? There's bats. There might be rats. She always has to bring the bloody rats into it now. Right, okay. Come on in. And now we feel trapped. I don't feel trapped. Well, we're stuck in a room. We've got this big corridor. Where are we going to go if something comes in? I know the way out. Whew. Right, let's just be quiet. What's that noise? What is that noise? I told you. I told you. I Shh. Can people 
hurry, man. Yeah. Where is he going from? Is he coming from the wall? Where is it? Sounds like it's coming from in the wall. Can't quite work it out. Sounds like scratching. Do you want to harm us? Oh my god, it does sound like a rocking chair. What's off these rooms? Is there anything in here that could be making that noise? What's in here? You alright, Les? Bit of a trip. What's in here? Okay, lost the picture. I've no idea why. Okay, I've got to go back. Okay, I've no idea why we've lost the picture. Okay, why have we lost sound? Uh, we've lost picture apparently. Oh. Okay. Is that something's having a go at us? I don't know, there could be, but apparently oh. we stand in front of this camera here. Uh, I have no idea why. Everything's plugged in. Shut up, shut up, there's somebody coming down to find out if we're okay. Yeah, yeah, we're fine. Oh. Yeah, we're fine. We just lost your picture up here. It's absolutely fine. I know, I know, I know. Yeah, I'll give you that. We'll stand in front of the webcam. Yeah, we're fine. Um, don't understand why. Everything's uh, still as it was. So, because the, the picture just here, just jammed, it froze on a specific, um, where, wherever you last were. We could hear your voices, but we couldn't see pictures, but you're okay, yeah? Yeah, absolutely fine. Just before that, we were hearing what sounded like a rocking, grating, scratching, it had a, it, it, I'll do an impression of it, sad as it may seem, it was like a, it was horrid. Okay, thank you. What happened? The cable went down, this is the other cable, this is the spare cable. The cable went down? Yeah, I don't know what. I don't know why, why is that then? It? Well, it could be anything. I've not pulled it out. Okay, let's go back, oh, we're going back to that corridor again. I think so. And I heard a where I heard a man's voice go, mm. when? Oh. Oh. Just now? Before, before the guys came down. Is that what you screamed at? Yeah. Look, I, d I don't like this now. I'm Can sorry. we just, I want to get to the bottom yeah, I know, I know, of I know, this noise. It doesn't feel very safe. Right, let's just see if we can hear it again. Stand still. It's in here. There must be a logical explanation. Is there an electricity thing in here? Les. What? My God, you could wake the dead with them boots. Yeah, but they don't, you, could, you won't get bitten or anything in them. Right, shh. Okay, be quiet. What is that noise? I can't hear it anymore. I can. I can. I can't. No, 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard that. It's movement. It was a man, and it was... It was very faint, but it was definitely... Okay. Do you think we I heard that that time. Listen, listen, there's somebody out there. There's bloody something out there. Shit, I can't see a damn thing. Where's the wall? I'm beginning to get... Oh, 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 oh. Shh. Oh, shh. 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 Holy shit. Shh. Shh. Holy shit. Oh my god, do you don't think we're locked in? I'm beginning to get really scared. Well, listen, it's a maze under here. Right, okay, okay, okay. Right, really I've really got the scared. cable. Listen, one of you's going to have to go up there and just check that we're not locked in. What here? Well, yes. I 
I've got this cable. I don't want to lose the picture again. I'm just let's go up there and see if we, we, we're locked in. Well, then you... Go on. Keep going. Go on, Les. Why is she prancing like a pony? We are. What? We are. The door's closed. Have you tried to open it? No. Try and open it. Can't run too quick because the cable. Is the door locked? Is it locked? The fucking door pushes me. The door's locked. Right, hang on a sec. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm just trying to pull this cable through. Mm. Is that somebody put a key down? There's what? There's something on this stair. Oh, get lost. Let it. Oh, there's no shit. No shit. There was right. All right. I know. Okay. Let's just say there's someone looking down on us. Fantastic. But let's just sort the door out first. Can somebody please pull the cable? Because I can't do the camera and pull right, the cable. Right, right, right. right, thank you. Just pull it, pull it, Kat. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Right. Right, hang that on. That door's absolutely solid. See, see? It's done. <gasps> you thought I was bloody joking. And my torch keeps going. And there's something else, my talk back and my and ear again. thing, I can't, everything's cracking up and going. Is now that, look. I didn't pull that. Shh, you know, somebody's pulling this cable back. Shit, 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 now shit. Look. So look. We're okay. We're okay, we'll be all right. Shh, okay, right. Somebody do me a favour. What? I'll come okay. over there. That's all right. I don't know if you can see me. Uh, Carl, just letting you know that we are trapped in the cellar. The door has slammed shut and we cannot get out, okay? I'm just letting you know, um, and I'm very aware that we're stood <gasps> underneath the staircase in case anything is thrown, but we can't get out. Do, do, you, want, uh, do you want me to come up there and try and get you out? Uh, yes, please, right now. Um, okay, I'll be there right now. Look, can you hear that? Look, what, what? figure keeps leaning over the banister. Where, where, where? Uh, up here, second floor, not next floor, the next one up. Oh, I can't see anything. <gasps> <gasps> oh, 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 my God! Get us out! 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 But at uh, home, we just heard a very, very deep... Oh, we are again! Shh! 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 You bastard! Can't you do any better than frightening women? Clear off! You idiot! Listen, there's something moving in that corridor. I know, I know. We can't. There's something moving in that corridor. We can't be moving in that corridor. We're bloody well locked in! Oh my god! 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 Shaking. Poor Leslie, you all right? I'll get over it. It's pretty bad. Um, Kathy, okay? I'm getting there. Do you know what that was like for us? The, the three of us are living, you know, when you have a nightmare that you can't wake up from, that was absolutely horrific. It was uh, to have a door, it's one of my biggest fears, lock on you and you can't get out, and to have that staircase and know that something could be dropped down. And the two of them were seeing a male figure stood at the top of the stairs. It was so, and then when we heard what can be described as a it was t absolutely. I will not forget that ever. It was really quite well, what terrifying. Kept Kath was saying that something was pulling the, the cable from within here. And we knew there was nobody, nobody in here. here. Yeah. They were pulling that cable back, and and I was pulling it, thinking it was caught, but it wasn't. It was being pulled backwards. Yeah, well, I, I came but when all the commotion was going on. Well, when I came, came got you guys out, I, I came straight down here. There, I mean, and Kieran's been down there as well. There is no one else down here. I, I mean, no physical down here. You no other Yeah. Can I also just say that something that I want to get to the bottom of is this, I think very briefly people at home might have heard it, which is what I described as this scratching noise. 
Now, I'm thinking, could it be some sort of electrical thing? But quite rightly, Carl and Kieran have said, well, there's no electricity down here. We have mm. to have a generator so our cameras can work. What do you, what and, I, and I've just double-checked as well. I've gone round with an EMF meter and checked all of the power points. There's, there are some fuse boxes as well, and we're not getting a reading off any of them. So if it happens again, like you, I want to get to the bottom of it. I mean, it could be, if it's a scratching sound, yeah. there could, could be some animals... But it's, it's you know. repetitive. It's, it, it, yeah, it, it, that's what, and, and also, just very quickly, a door closing on us, we couldn't get out. All of the things that happened to us. I know our senses are heightened and the three of us together get hysterical sometimes. Yeah, and there might be some of that. But the, but the door is a physical thing. You can actually see that. And yeah. presumably, you know, we, heard, we all heard the sound upstairs as well. What you do you know, think? This, uh, well, not hallucinating. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, my initial thought was, is it the cable that's dragged the door or closed the door in some way? But it sounds like it was too sudden. It was a very, yeah, that. it was a big blow as well. And Chris, in your opinion, who do you think is doing that? <coughs> I'd say we've definitely got this Richard, but we've also got another man who's here. Uh -huh. And this man's from, a, we're actually talking about the 1930s. This man's called Hugh. Mm -hmm. And Hugh's not a bad man, but he... He's, he's very he's very sorry and it's I'm, I'm actually not going to speak on air but what, what he's trying to tell me but because what he's trying to tell me is actually for the family his family who are still alive um, okay I think somebody's trying to come, come get through yeah. on the table because I can feel I don't know if anybody else felt that but like tapping yeah okay so we have Chris Burton on camera Matt on sound Kieran stood behind us uh, Chris Kath um, Stuart is it Stuart with glasses yeah. on <laughs> Um, Leslie, can you see better with those glasses? I can, actually, Okay, yeah. Leslie, Carl and myself. Okay, you ready? Let's <coughs> just see if we can get some messages through. Okay. Shall we just start with our hands on the table rather than the glass first? So everybody connect hands. Okay. You are right, Kath? Mm -hmm. Screaming didn't help. I think Kath's done very well considering she's got bronchitis. Ready? Okay. For the spirits that are with us now. Please continue to cont contact. Please continue to make contact with us. Please come towards the centre of this table. Make it. Oh, oh shit. That's my torch, sorry. Okay. Oh, okay. Please continue to make contact with us. My name's Yvette. I'm Chris. I'm Kath. I'm Stuart. I'm Leslie. I'm Carl. Please introduce. There you go. Table is shaking. Mm. You can't see it. If we get any movement from the table, Chris, concentrate on the table, not on faces, please. Okay. Now we've got some contact. One hand on the glass, one hand on the table. Okay. Thank you for coming towards us. Thank you for talking to us. Please, can you introduce yourself? Can't see. What's that? M. Come on. M what? M X. M X. M. Y, my. H. No. O. M E my home. Okay, this is your home. Your home. Can you tell us who you are? Tell us your name, please. Your name. G. What's that E? Continue. Continue. God, it's very strong. T G O T G O T O U Kieran, are you making T Get out. Okay, we're not leaving. If you want us to get out, you have to make us get out. Do you understand? We're not leaving, we're not going anywhere. You have to make us get out. P 
S A A A Oh, me. Okay. Okay, well, you will have to make us get out. What does that mean, you pointing at me? Don't just point at me. Give me a message. Give me a message. Tell me something. L. E. A. Blimey. V. E. Leave. <coughs> Leave. Okay. Who are you? Tell me your name. Tell me your name, please. Tell me your name. Tell me your name. Please tell me your name. I wish to talk to you. Tell me your name, please. Tell me your name. I don't mean you any harm. Come and talk to us. It is. We don't mean you any harm. I don't mean you any disrespect. We just want to talk to you. No matter what you've done, please tell us, good or bad, just tell us your name, please. Tell us your name. Do you know what I can smell? I really, you know, like old men, you know, that unwashed. Mm. Yeah. No, just like old men. Um, what's it doing? It's doing the figure of eight. Oh, so it's All spotted. Yeah. Okay. I am well protected. We are well protected. You cannot harm us in any way. You cannot harm us. We will leave in our own good time, sir, or lady, whomever you are. Yes. yes. You can't harm us. Yes. yes. <sighs> well, harm us then. Stop talking about it and do it. Actions <laughs> speak louder than words. I suggest we sit here quietly and put our hands on the table and see what this person can do. Just do you agree? Yes, if it's suggesting, yes, yes. Be, be very quickly. <coughs> Get ready, Matt, with the sound. Okay. Join hands. Chris, be very wary. Don't worry about faces. Just get with. If there's any action, just go with it. Yeah, we'll do. Hopefully, there I've will be got some action. A really cold breeze right across my, and again, my left hand right okay. to, my, to my right hand. I just heard uh, 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 I, heard, I heard that. You heard that? Yes, I did. That room. Yes, I did. Tapping start. <coughs> Stand still, everybody. Keep keep the circle. Who, who spoke then? George? Yeah. Did you speak then? Oh, I feel that. that. Didn't you didn't say a word? Did that you? was, a, I heard that was incredible. It was like something right his hand. <coughs> 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 yeah, exactly. Oh, I see. Like, of course, going straight over the top. Well, at the same time as you feeling that, I heard a... Uh, I heard that he I thought it was George, but he said he didn't speak. Come to the first floor. This is like a nightmare house. I can imagine. Well, I can't imagine actually being here on my own. I think this is the place that would send you into, into an early grave. Honest to God, I am... 
that frightened. Especially what happened with, yeah. It's just non-stop, isn't it, the place? Yeah. The rest of the team, there's myself, there's Leslie, there's Carl, there's Matt on sound, there is Stuart on camera, and there's George with the radio mic stood behind us. Um, we've come up again to the first floor. The rest of the team is still in the basement uh, with the Ouija board. Kieran is in charge of running the Ouija board. He's going to be asking for certain things to happen to us. And he's got radio control uh, with Carl. We're hearing this tapping and banging noise again up here. It seems to be coming through there. Let's follow it. Come on, man. You stick with me. Here, let's settle, and then we can see where the banging. Yes. Just stay in here, see where the banging's coming from for a sec. Temperatures dropped oh, dramatically. Place feels alive. Hey, hey, hey! What is that? I just heard that. Hey, yeah. 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 that was out there. It was out there. Can you? Let's, should we go back out there? No, I don't think we should. What? George. Yep. Can you hear anything out there? Uh, not hear anything out here. Okay, let's just stay in here for a sec. I'm sorry, Carl. I just think if George is in the corridor. He'll be able to tell us if he hears anything, but if we stay in here, we might get it again. He says, don't get George's got earphones on, he's just the things. Keep still. Don't even move, guys. It's coming on the wall. Hello. Are you the same person that was talking to us on the board? Is somebody different? Okay. Is this somebody that used to live here? No. Is this somebody connected to one of us? No. Is it the children? Are there children up here? It's okay. Yes. Good idea. Are there any children here? Anything, Matt? Don't think so. No, one for no. Do you mean as harm? Yes, okay. Well, I'll do it then. Mm -hmm. Stop Stop saying you're going to do something. Pick one of us up, throw us at well. Pick myself up, throw me about, pick Stuart up, throw him around. Slam another door. Move these beds. If you move these beds now, you will really, really impress everybody in the world. Oh, it might happen. It might happen. Uh, Stuart, make sure you're the last one in yeah, so you sure get the picture is. of what it looks like. Slam a door or move something, make a noise with your voice. If you mean us harm and you want us to leave, then do something now. Did you hear that? Did you get it? Yeah. Did you get it? 
Please tell me you've got that. Please tell me. Oh, shit, they didn't hear it. I heard it. Oh, my God. Matt heard it. Tell me in sound. If Matt heard it, can you not hear it? It might have been too faint for him. Oh, bollocks. Excuse my French, but they didn't get it. What we got was a proper moan. It was a real... Oh. Can you do it again? I can't move. Look at the corridor, Kat. There is a shadow in that last room. Oh, my God. I can't in see it. In that last room. Are you okay, Kat? Are you okay, Leslie? I'm not really. No. Yeah, I'm still knocked about from earlier. I've been looking at it like a... You're like a child that. frightened of well, it. I've got the camera fixed on it now. So. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm. I'm trying not to be frightened, but I can't help it. Deep breath. If something jumps out of me now, I will die. Oh, no, you won't. You won't. You won't. No, I will. No, I'll be okay. Just here. Just, just here. Just here. You both saw it. Both saw it. Oh, fantastic. I was staring at it. I didn't want to say anything. Well, I was piano. staring at it for quite a while while Yvette was talking. It's me. I'm <coughs> just, just going to move the piano. Stand away from this this piano. Can you do that? They hate it when you do that. <laughs> Come on, make a noise with your voice. What's that? Noise? It's tapping in here. Okay. What do we see now? Movement. What was it? Yeah, just movement here, just shadow movement here. But there's it's no the one same here. one again, Carl, that we saw. Yeah, but it was, it was quicker. It was actually moving here. But it was by the door, and I've just listen, come through the door. Slam a door or move something, make a noise with your voice. If you mean us harm and you want us to leave, then do something now. Did you hear that? Yeah. Did you get it? Yeah. Did you get it? Please tell me you've got that. Please tell me. Oh, shit, they didn't hear it. I heard it. Oh, my God. Matt heard it. Tell me in sound. If Matt heard it, can you not hear it? It might have been too faint for him. Oh, bollocks. Excuse my French, but I didn't get it. Oh. Can you do it again? There is a shadow. Yes. I'm looking at it. I'm looking at it. I can't move. Look at the corridor. Look at the corridor. There is a shadow in that last room. Oh my God. I can't in see it. In that last room. Are you okay, Kat? Are you okay, Leslie? I'm not really. No. Hey, I'm still on. knocked about from earlier. I've been looking at it like a... You're like a child oh. frightened of well, I've got the camera okay. fixed on it now. So. Mm -hmm. right. mm. I'm trying not to be frightened, but I can't help it. Deep breath. Mm. If something jumps out of me now, I will die. Oh, no, you won't. You won't. No, you won't. I will. No, I'll be okay. What about you listening, Carl? Just here. Yeah. Just here. Just here. We both saw it. Both saw it. Oh, fantastic. And I was staring at it. I didn't want to say anything. Well, I was yeah. staring at it for quite a while while Yvette was talking. It's me. I'm gonna just, just going to move the piano. Come on. 
we all stand away from this this piano. Can you do that? I hate it when you do that. <laughs> Come on, make a noise with your voice. What's that noise? It's tapping in here. Okay. Move it. What do you see now? Move it. What was it? Yeah, just movement here, this shadow movement here. But there's so no the same one, one again, Carl, that we saw? Yeah, but it was, it was quicker. It was actually moving here. But it was by the door, and I've just listen, come through the door. Yes. Uh, has anything happened down there on the Ouija board at all? We are asking for things to happen, but we have been hearing some moaning sounds behind us in the room. Okay. Yeah, we've actually been hearing some moaning sounds and loads of tapping, so uh, keep going. Thanks. Please do something else. Please, can you show yourself to us now? Please walk towards us. Please walk towards us. Walk towards us so we can see you. Come up the stairs. Come and join us. See the men here? Come and touch them. Where have you gone? Oh, there you are. Please, can you do something else? Move an object. Move an object. Can you throw something? Throw something perhaps that was personal of yours that we can keep, please. 
I think there's, okay. I think there's, I think there's movement there. That's why you saw it before, isn't it? Yeah. Do you know? I don't know what it is, but. No, 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 it just touched my head! So, oh my god! What's the matter? Something just touched my head! Are you alright? <laughs> and I wasn't joking, it pulled my hair! And I wasn't imagining it! Right. Oh, right, right, something right, right. just tried to fight me! Alright, oh, 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 oh. oh, I think, do you know what? I think we should get Leslie out. Yeah. Yeah. Leslie. Alright, so don't, come on, can we get Leslie out? Oh, no, no, darling, we're going to go now. Leslie, 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 Leslie. Leslie. Whoa! This door's just shut. Who's that side? Who's that side? Yeah? Carl? I'm here. How many of you are here? Yeah, he's here. Oh, shit. There's bloody something out there. I'm getting Continue. Continue. Did you all, did you, all eight of you, did you all live here? You did. That's like it's walking up and down the stairs just here. Do you want us to come upstairs? Can you make it louder? See, it doesn't sound like it's on the stairs to me at all. Do you know what it sounds like? It's coming from to me. Here. Here. In this door frame. Yeah. Just see if you get it louder. You watch, it'll change direction now. That's oh God. On the no, it's on the stairs. That's definitely on the stairs. Will you do something to one of us if we stand on the stairs? something can you make a noise much louder than this someone's getting close to this it's freezing cold on these stairs hello there's two of them knocking there's two of them there's two what, what oh, whoa. To be? okay can we check that back please if we can Oh! Are you all right, Carl? Is, is anyone upstairs? No. This, this, this right. Can you get? Can you get someone come up? Chris? Can we try? Someone went upstairs before. Just before There's we someone there. there. Because I sort of saw something. One at a time. There's someone there. Nice and slowly. Let's not make too much noise. Hello. Do you know what, do you remember the films with the musketeers? Yeah. That's what this guy looks like. He looks like a musketeer. He's got like this sort of white sort of thing around here and he's got like a sort of velvety jacket and sort of velvety trousers and he's got like sort of boots mm -hmm. and he's got long dark hair. I'm not saying he has a musketeer but that's the way that the sort of image that he's presenting himself to me, to, to be. Um, 
The name with him? The, the, the name with him. No, come on. I'm pretty sure this guy's name is Richard. Mm -hmm. I'm pre pretty sure. I'm not 100% with the first guy, but I'm, but I'm pretty sure it's, it's Richard. And so when he's seeing us, does he want mm -hmm. to do terrible things oh, to yeah, us? Oh, yeah. Oh, it's just as nasty. We're, as we're coming in, we're on, we're on his land, and it's very much... Get, get off my land. And do you know how, how this gentleman died? Or do you know how long he lived for? What age he passed over? Come on. Come on. No. No? He's basically... It, it's more to get us out than, than, than to communicate with me. Oh. And it's more... And the reason I'm saying he's like a torturer is because the things he's shown me, he's actually shown me the kind of things that he'd be doing. And well, the kind of things he's shown... What, what's the, he doing then? The kind of things he's shown me, he's actually pulling somebody's hair out the roots. And that's the kind of thing he's shown me. He's, he's, they've got a man down, and they've got this man here, and they're pulling hair right out his head. And where would they have and, done this? In this building? In this, bu in this think building, so? yeah, I would say so. In this, this area. Um, very, very nasty character. And that's the kind of things that he's shown me. And he's basically saying, if you don't get out, this, th th this is what's going to happen to, oh. happen to you. Say, as we've been walking around, the EMF meter has been um, varying around 10 milligauss. And normally when we've done derelict yes. properties, you might get two or three, and certainly we've got cabling around. But it's quite consistent, 8, 9, 10 milligauss, which means there's still some wiring, or perhaps some live wiring. Well, there's no electricity building. in this place at all. We're, we're having to use a generator to, so that we can use our, our, our cameras here. So, and light, so it, that is a little bit unusual. Yeah, it just means later on, maybe me going up to some of the upper rooms and just checking if there's any other sources up there. And I'll keep an eye on it. Just in case anybody's watching and think, what on earth is Doctor? Doctor, <laughs> he has got a stethoscope on. Yeah. Now, our sound guys have, 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 have kitted you up with this stethoscope, yeah. and we've actually put um, a microphone. Yeah, um, essentially everybody's familiar with a stethoscope. Um, they've rigged up a microphone in this, and so that anything I hear through the stethoscope, for example, if there is tapping noise, um, Matt will be able to hear it, and of course the truck will be able to get a direct feed from it. But, dare I say, it will look very comical. It will look you with, the, with, the, with your stethoscope in. So yeah. we'll have to put the laughing to one side, but hopefully we'll be able to hear the knocking, and you never know, you might be impressed by it. Might be. Okay. Can I say one yes, last thing, course. sorry? Just as we're standing... My earpiece, but it was a high-pitched... You know that, that noise, that... But we've heard that through the day. Have you? Yes. If there is anybody here, if there are spirit people here, I know you are here. I believe that you are here, whether you are good or bad. Come and make yourselves known to us now. Can we hear you walk down these stairs? Did you all, did you, all eight of you, did you all live here? You did. That's like it's walking up and down the stairs just here. Do you want us to come upstairs? Can you make it louder? See, it doesn't sound like it's on the stairs to me at all. Do you know what it sounds like? It's coming from to me. Here. Here. In this door frame. Yeah. Just see if you get it louder. You watch, it'll change direction now. That's oh my God. On the no, it's on the stairs. That's definitely on the stairs. Will you do something to one of us if we stand on the stairs?
That's around me, that's him. Walk up to Carl. Shit. Okay. Now it's down here. Can you do something? Can you make a noise much louder than this? I'm just getting close to this. It's freezing cold on these. Walk up. That's to around me. That's him. Walk up to Carl. Shit. Okay. Now it's down here. Can you do something? Can you? Make a noise much louder than this. So I'm just getting close to this. It's freezing cold on these stairs. Hello? There's two lots of knocking. There's two of them. There's two. What, what oh, whoa. Whoa. Okay, can we check that back please if we can? Oh! You alright, Carl? Is, is anyone upstairs? No! This, this, this right, can you get, can you get someone come upstairs, up? Chris? Can we try? Can we try? Is there someone there? there? Because I sort of saw something. One at a time. There's someone there. Nice and slowly, let's not make too much noise. Hello? And can you see anybody, has anybody moved at all on the webcam by the stairs, please, on the first floor? Hello, Yvette. Definitely not. We have seen nothing on that upstairs part where you are now. Okay. Very loud knocking noises. Carl just thinks he's seen somebody on the first floor. Hello? Definitely not seen anyone. He's here. He's here. Definitely not. Remember, the camera is only getting a small part of that upstairs. Carl, it's here. Oh, oh, shit! What's the matter? Oh, my God. Oh, God, he's something came right close to me then. It was almost like... Whew. Okay. Carl, there's something here on the stairs. It walked right past, didn't it? Yeah, didn't I it? had that path. Okay, That's everybody, just stand still. Nobody move. Keep fairly still. Oh, what was that? Shh. Sorry. I can't miss this. I can't miss this. is the name Vaughan. Um, he is saying that he's a man and he's saying no. Can you give me another name, please? Or perhaps Chris could possibly uh, give it... Listen. Give us another name. I heard that. That's in the other room. Um, I'd like to give you the name Campbell, please. You can ask that, please. Okay. That's in the other room. Okay. Is your name Campbell? It's going to be another room. Like it I heard that. Us. You won't have picked that up because we were concentrating on the knocking, weren't we, Matt? Okay, but it yeah. was it was a. Uh, is that you, George? All right, through here, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It has uh, Leslie uh, saying no to the name Campbell. Well, um, I'm being told here by Chris that the name is in fact. Richard, the one who was here earlier, but um, that's disputing the surname, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Richard Vaughan. But it's saying no. I'll try again. Okay. Everybody stand still. <gasps> what the? Could you ask if his name is Carberry, 
which is of course the seat name rather than the surname. He may be pompous about this. If you are quite aggressive about the name Carberry, is it you? Then uh, maybe you may get a response. Okay, I will ask that and then for quiet please after that. Thank you. Is your name Carberry? I don't like this. I don't like this. There's something, mm -hmm. in my experience, something's going to play with us tonight. Something's going to mess us about. That's right, isn't it? You're going to mess us about. Has it gone even colder in here than normal? I don't know. Let's ask for some noises vo vocally. Can you make noises with your voices, please? Shout out. Can you copy me? I'll do it again. Can you copy me, please? What's the matter? Oh, my God. Oh, God, he's walking Something came right close to me then. It was almost like... Okay. Carl, there's something here on the stairs. He walked right past, didn't he? Yeah, didn't I had that path. Okay, everybody just stand still. Nobody move. Keep fairly still. Visitors daring to ascend the staircase to the upper floor are immediately struck with an almost unbearable sense of grief. A sobbing man has been seen at the top of the stairs, whilst children's laughter echo through its deserted rooms. Distressed witnesses have felt as though they've been touched by ice-cold hands and that their clothing has been tugged as if they're being invited to follow these poor spectres. A hostile man has been seen on the landing. When approached, he turns momentarily to face his adversary, before disappearing. Chillingly, the blood-curdling screams of a frenzied woman reverberate through the walls of the upper floor. Why are the spirits of the Golden Grove Mansion trapped in turmoil, and why are they so reluctant to leave? Welcome back to Most Haunted of the Live series. We're here in an extraordinary place in South Wales. It really is very strange. We started the investigation on the ground floor. There's a small group of us. Uh, Leslie, uh, Dr. Kieran O'Keefe and Chris, Chris Conway in the hub. Uh, myself, Carl, Chris Burton, Stuart, Matt and Kath and George uh, are all with us here on the first floor. We've moved up a floor. Um, the first part of the investigation, we're getting the most incredible knocking noises. And at one point, there were sort of knocking noises coming from one part of the staircase, then another. And it actually did sound, didn't it, Carl, like something was rushing past you. And you felt the temperature drop. And it was yeah, really I mean, quite, it was, it was good. In the, in the break, I've just had a full check up here, because I definitely saw somebody up here. I've just had a check. There's no one else up here. I mean, obviously, we're up here now, but there, there was no one else up here. So... Well, can I say something? I didn't mean to interrupt you earlier on. Do you know when you came up, Carl? Yeah. And you said you saw something. Well, just before we actually came on air, I actually came up the stairs. It's quite consistent 8, 9, 10 milligauss, which means there's still some wiring, or perhaps some live wiring. Well, there's no electricity building. in this place at all. We're having to use a generator to, so that we can use our, our, our cameras here. 
So, and light. So it, that is a little bit unusual. Yeah, it just means later on, maybe me going up to some of the upper rooms and just checking if there's any other sources up there. And I'll keep an eye on it. Just in case anybody's watching and think, what on earth is Doctor? Doctor, <laughs> he has got a stethoscope on. Yeah. Now, our sound guys have, 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 have kitted you up with this stethoscope, yeah. and we've actually put um, a microphone. Yeah, um, essentially everybody's familiar with a stethoscope. Um, they've rigged up a microphone in this, and so that anything I hear through the stethoscope, for example, if there is tapping noise, um, Matt will be able to hear it, and of course the truck will be able to get a direct feed from it. But, dare I say, it will look very comical. It will look you with, your, with, your, with your stethoscope in. So yeah. we'll have to put the laughing to one side, but hopefully we'll be able to hear the knocking, and you never Brilliant. know, you might be impressed by it. Might be. Okay. Can I say one yes, last thing, course. sorry? Just as we're standing talking there, I've had somebody else walk in and he's basically c came through to me and he's happy to see me mm -hmm. and he's saying that it's one of us. And this guy, I, I, I know we're in Wales, but this guy's Scottish and this guy's well to, very well to do. He's got, he's got the, 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 the really expensive black suit on and it's very much as we walked in and he's got the, the broad Scottish accent, broader than mine, mm -hmm. and, he, he can, and he's very happy to see me and it's basically, oh, it's one of us, it's one of us. Mm -hmm. And this guy's really... Um, Any name really, really happy at the moment. I don't have a name for this guy, but I'm hoping. I'm pretty sure I will have names for this guy okay. later on because he's very happy to see well, me. Well, we've had knocking all day while we've been here, and we can hear it now as we're talking. I know a little bit of um, the history here because Leslie sort of shared it with me. Quite good. Uh, pretty good. Well done. On the way in, you talked about John. Now, there's lots of Johns. It's a very mm. common name. We have to be a bit wary. What I loved, you said, the staircase wasn't there, the staircase was there. And I can tell you that there was a lot of work being done to this property. Yeah. Although it's an old property, what you're seeing, I'm pretty sure, from what you're describing of the tweed clothes, uh, the hair... Well, would that have been, sorry to interrupt, tweed clothing in those times, in the 1500s? Would they have worn We're not talking about 1500s. We're talking about the handover in about 1804. Ah, but you said 1500s. Yeah. Well, the 1500s mm -hmm. is when the house first was. The only tweed that would have been worn at that time would have been um, not in this part of the world very easily, although there was some of that cloth mm. development. Yeah. When the staircase was you described the later one uh, now I'm quite interested in the change that's being shown to us so that's brilliantly well done on that and um, then you talked about Richard didn't find a surname I couldn't hear a surname no. Said. No, right well all I can tell you is with the torture and everything bang on mm. nasty piece of work did you get a sense of his age I didn't. I asked no, that, I, yeah. I, I yeah, no, I wondered what the answer yes, was. We know that one, yeah, so we? I'm wondering about that one as well. Um, and then you're coming to this last part. There is a Scot who's very influential. He's, lots of us have been seeing things. We've had things thrown at us during the day. We've had all sorts of strange noises occurring. But uh, now, as I said, we've turned off the lights um, and we're in a small group. We have Leslie, Kieran and Chris Conway uh, in the hub. They're keeping an eye, as usual, on four locked-off cameras which are placed in some of the most haunted locations in the whole of the building. Um, that's myself, there's Carl, there's Stuart, um, there is Matt on sound, there's Kath, and there is Chris Burton on camera. Um, there's also, sorry Chris, if we can get there, George has to stand by all of the microphones there. George, stand out and give us a wave. Can you see him? Yep. Can you see him, yep. Chris? Yep. Brilliant. We are the only people here in the whole of the building, and it's a huge building, so <coughs> let's crack on. Let's walk through into... Uh, down. One of the first rooms. Careful not to tread on the limey. I've just been told by Kieran as well that there are bats upstairs. Hi, Kieran. Hi. Just to remind you that there are bats above you. We've seen them again on CCTV above you on the second floor. Thank you so much for that, Kieran. I don't know whether I probably wish that you hadn't said anything. Okay. Right. Should we do a little call out, guys? Okay. Where are you? You come stand right by me. Okay, everybody stand still. If there's anybody here that... How many of you are here? Chris, keep 
the camera down on our feet. Mac, bring the microphone right in to where our feet are. Okay. D mean is harm, two for yes, one for no. So all of you mean as harm. There can be one talking to us, surely. The person who's talking to us, are you a man? Yes. Okay. Is your name Vaughan? No. Okay. Yeah, but if it means it's harm, oh, I'm just supposing, yeah, if it means it's harm, would it not give a <coughs> Oh, sorry, Carl. So I'll turn my okay. Off. Leslie, um, we're getting a communication. Um, through Jeff. Okay, if you, you guys, I'm outvoted. It's on the stairs then. Okay. Did you all? Did you all eight of you? Did you all live here? You did. That's like it's walking up and down the stairs just here. Do you want us to come upstairs? Can you make it louder? See, it doesn't sound like it's on the stairs to me at all. Do you know what it sounds like? It's coming from to me. Here? Here? In this door frame? Yeah. Just see if you get it louder. You watch your change direction now. That's oh my God. No, it's on the stairs. Yes. That's definitely on the stairs. Will you do something to one of us if we stand on the stairs? Carl, stand in the middle of the stairs up there. What am I on that? Yeah, go up, go up, 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 up. That's it. Right, how do you feel at the moment? Go far. Okay. I have to admit. I oh, oh, what was that? George? Sorry, I didn't wait. It's George. <sighs> Walk up That's to around me, that's here. No. Walk up to Carl. <gasps> Shit. Okay. Now it's down here. Can you do something? Can you make a noise much louder than this? Someone's getting close to this. It's freezing cold on these stairs. Hello? There's two lots of knocking. That's two of them. There's two. What, what, oh, what's whoa. Right. Okay, can we check that back, please, if we can? Oh! Are you all right, Carl? Is, is anyone upstairs? No. This, this, this right. can you get, can you get someone come up? Upstairs, Chris? Can we try? 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 Can we Nice and slowly, let's not make too much noise. Hello? There's nobody up here. Kieran, can you see anybody? There were 150 abandoned rooms. The mansion was built by the Vaughan family, Earls of Cordor, who were granted the land through an inheritance. The previous owners were the childless lady and Lord Bolton, whose family built the original mansion on this spot back in the 1560s. But it is the Cordor Peerage that has left its mark on this site. One of the Earls of Cordor is believed to be one of the many malevolent spirits that are said to still haunt this dilapidated old house. Believed to have been a sadistic man, local people say that in a violent rage, he cut off the finger of a servant who disobeyed him. Is this just folklore, or might we come across this violent spectre tonight? But this Earl is not the only member of the family said to still haunt this place. A male figure is seen in the archway near the main entrance. He's in his 40s and is believed to be the fourth Earl of Cordor. 
also a later Earl, believed to have been an aggressive drunk, is also said to still reside here. At night, eyewitnesses say that they have seen him careering through the mansion's empty corridors. Like most stately homes of the time, Golden Grove was a hive of activity, with the family being attended to by a small army of servants. The corridor and the adjoining rooms are said to echo with the sounds of times past. The clattering of servants as they go about their business play out day after day. Hushed whispers can be heard when clearly there is no one here. Or is there? Over the years, members of the Cordor Peerage spent less and less time at Golden Grove, preferring instead to use their Scottish estate. With the outbreak of World War II and the eventual joining of the Allies by the United States, the house was used as a base for the American Air Force. Today, many people believe that some of those airmen still remain. It is in these cellars that people talk of being faced by an angry figure dressed in an American uniform. He confronts unsuspecting visitors, leaving them in no doubt that they are not welcome in this, his lair. With so much paranormal activity to investigate, what will we uncover tonight? We have two hours to find out. I'm joined now by parapsychologist Dr. Kieran O'Keefe, welcome, and our historian Leslie Smith. Now, Leslie, you have been researching like a wild thing all week because this place is huge and it's got such an amazing history. It has, an, and mostly because of the people who were here. Mm. Think of the house as essentially in Corb, for this wonderful, huge property to be put to a great use of bringing wounded servicemen here uh, in current and future conflicts, and it's a wonderful part of, of Great Britain, this lovely part of Wales, where no doubt recuperation will be all the better for the beauty of the area. So, so much to get our teeth into. Now, Kieran, before I have a chat with you, let's meet somebody who knows this building incredibly well. My name is Gay Ryan. I'm a paranormal investigator with Ghost Watch Wales. The most active parts of the house are the cellar, the long corridor on the first floor, and also the first floor on top of the stairs where there is a piano and this is quite strange we were in here a couple of weeks back in the daytime and we heard the, the tinkling of the keys on the piano so I thought oh somebody's messing about with the piano and we went in there and, and it was closed I wouldn't like to be the one in there tonight <laughs> if Yvette and Carl are going to be in there with the team tonight they're going to have their hands full because this place is really really haunted Now, Kieran, we've heard from the eyewitnesses. Leslie's been researching like a demon. It's a fantastic location. So what are you looking forward to tonight, you know, most of all about this particular place? Well, the eyewitness reports there's apparitions, there's sense of presence, there's sound-related phenomena as well. But everything has this menacing quality about it, and maybe it does come from the history part. And so I'm a bit concerned about how the team are going to react knowing some of the history, I think. Um, we're going to get a lot of very, very scared people tonight. I mean, we're, as usual, we found, haven't we, on this series, and I can hear it now, a lot of, you know, this knocking constantly. And as we're talking now, I can feel it underneath my feet. I don't know if you can hear it. It's it all that's going on yes, there. Yes, we can hear it. it. Yeah. OK, we've got a lot to look forward to. I can't wait to get stuck into this place. Now, last week, we were investigating Rufford Old Hall in Lancashire and were astounded by the spate of door banging. Yes, door banging, Kieran. <laughs> Have a look at this. You quite you behind me. Don't we be the door? Chris, Chris asked for a door to slam shut. Uh, we've just heard a door slam shut. Was that you guys? Uh, no, no, no. It just did it on its own. Ask Chris to do it again. Chris, <coughs> thank you, Bartholomew. We appreciate you showing your existence, okay, proving to the other people asking. in this building. Come on, can you please make door. a door slam again? I can't hear what we can hear. It's quite loud. Ah! All right. There's no one there. No one there, no one there. Now, Kieran, you were downstairs while all of that was going. T. G-O-T. 
GOTO. You. Kieran, are you making tea? Get out. Okay, we're not leaving. If you want us to get out, you have to make us get out. Do you understand? We're not leaving. We're not going anywhere. You have to make us get out. P. S. R. 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 Oh, me. Okay. Okay, well, you will have to make us get out. What does that mean, you pointing at me? Don't just point at me. Give me a message. Give me a message. Tell me something. L. E. A. Blimey. V. E. Leave. 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 Okay. Who are you? Tell me your name. Tell me your name, please. Tell me your name. Tell me your name. Please tell me your name. I wish to talk to you. Tell me your name, please. Tell me your name. I don't mean you any harm. Come and talk to us. The table's shaking. It is. We don't mean you any harm. I don't mean you any disrespect. We just want to talk to you. No matter what you've done, please tell us, good or bad. Just tell us your name, please. Tell us your name. Do you know what I can smell? I really, you know, like old men, you know, that unwashed. Didn't you? Yeah. No, just like old men. Uh, um, what's it doing? It's doing the figure of eight. Oh, so it's All spotted. Yeah. Okay. I am well protected. We are well protected. You cannot harm us in any way. You cannot harm us. We will leave in our own good time, sir, or lady, whomever you are. Yes. yes. You can't harm us. Yes. yes. <sighs> well, harm us then. Stop talking about it and do it. Actions <laughs> speak louder than words. I suggest we sit here quietly and put our hands on the table and see what this person can do. Just do you agree? Yes, it's suggesting yes, yes. Big family and they were here for century upon century and some of them were very strange indeed one particularly fighting in the civil war who did such a rubbish job of it they lost the whole of south wales for the king because he had no military experience but was in a key role and then when we get to 1804 we get another family get involved the earl of cordor those families also the family name the campbells is that the one that chopped off the finger or is that just folklore no actually it's sort of one of those marvelous mixes of both it was it wasn't a Campbell who did that, he was actually going back to the Vaughans. And we know in such a senior role, the man I was just talking about, um, in about 1672, he had to resign his post, which was a very senior post after the restoration of Charles II. He had a lead role, although he'd lost great chunks of Wales in the war. Um, and uh, he actually did chop off people's fingers, it said, mutilated, not just them, but tenants as well, servants, tenants. And also there's talk of taking people's tongues out. Nice. And his son was described as the lewdest man in England. Fantastic. So we have two great families in terms of bad, mad, and dangerous to know. And of course, it was also used, wasn't it, uh, for American It um, was. Yes, it is, had, um, it's also had folks staying here, the military staying here to do with the Americans, that's right. And there was talk about the future, you know. There's a great drive in the area for this wonderful, huge property to be put to a great use of bringing wounded servicemen here uh, in current and future conflicts. And it's a wonderful part of, of Great Britain, this lovely part of Wales, where no doubt recuperation will be all the better for the beauty of the area. So, so much to get our teeth into. Now, Kieran, before I have a chat with you, let's meet somebody who knows this building incredibly well. My name is Gay Ryan. I'm a paranormal investigator with Ghost Watch Wales. The most active parts of the house are the cellar, the long corridor on the first floor, and also the first floor on top of the stairs, where there is a piano, 
and this is quite strange, we were in here a couple of weeks back in the daytime and we heard the, the tinkling of the keys on the piano. So I thought, oh, somebody's messing about with the piano and we went in there and, and it was closed. I wouldn't like to be the one in there tonight. <laughs> if Yvette and Carl are going to be in there with the team tonight, they're going to have their hands full because this place is really, really haunted. Now, Kieran, we've heard from the eyewitnesses. Leslie's been researching like a demon. It's a fantastic location. So what are you looking forward to tonight, you know, most of all about this particular place? Well, the eyewitness reports there's apparitions, there's sense of presence, there's sound-related phenomena as well. But everything has this menacing quality about it, and maybe it does come from the history part. And so I'm a bit concerned about how the team are going to react knowing some of the history, I think. Um, breeze right across my... And again, my left hand writes okay. to my right hand. Okay. Right, everybody quiet now. We will remain quiet for you, whoever you are. If you wish us to leave, then do it now. If you wish to scare us, do it now. Oh, no, I just heard uh, uh, I, heard, I heard that. You heard that? Yes, uh, I did. That, that yes, I did. Tapping start. <coughs> Stand still, everybody. Keep keep a circle. Who, who spoke then? George? Yeah. Did you speak then? I feel that. You didn't say a word? That was, a, I heard that was incredible. Was that something right his hand? Exactly, exactly. Oh, I see. Like a hand, of course, oh, going straight over the top. Well, at the same time as you feeling that, I heard a... Uh, I heard that I thought that it was George, but he said he didn't speak. Come to the first floor. This is like a nightmare house. I can imagine. Well, I can't imagine actually being here on my own. I think this is the place that would send you into, into an early grave. Honest to God, I am that frightened. Especially what happened with... Yeah. It's just non-stop, isn't it, the place? Yeah. The rest of the team, there's myself, there's Leslie, there's Carl, there's Matt on sound. There is Stuart on camera and there's George with the radio mic stood behind us. Um, we've come up again to the first floor. The rest of the team are still in the basement uh, with the Ouija board. Kieran is in charge and running the Ouija board. He's going to be asking for certain things to happen to us. Uh, he's got radio control uh, with Carl. We're hearing this tapping and banging noise again up here. It seems to be coming through there. Let's follow it. Come on, man. You stick with me. Try to tell me, but because what he's trying to tell me is actually for the family, his family, who are still alive. Um, okay, I think somebody's trying to come, come get through yeah. on the table because I can feel, I don't know if anybody else felt that, but like tapping. Table, yeah, so okay. <coughs> so we have Chris Burton on camera, Matt on sound, Kieran stood behind us, uh, Chris, Kath, um, Stuart, is it Stuart with glasses yeah. on? <laughs> um, Leslie, can you see better with those glasses? I can actually, Okay, yeah. Leslie, Carl and myself. Okay, you ready? <coughs> Let's just see if we can get some messages through. Okay. Should we just start with our hands on the table rather than the glass first? Everybody connect hands. Yeah. You're right, Kath. Mm -hmm. Screaming didn't help. I think Kath's done very well considering she's got bronchitis. Ready? Okay. For the spirits that are with us now, please continue to cont contact. Please continue to make contact with us. Please come towards the centre of this table. Maybe. Oh, shit. That's mine. 
torch, sorry. Okay. Please continue to make contact with us. My name's Yvette. I'm Chris. I'm Kath. I'm Stuart. I'm Leslie. I'm Carl. Please introduce... There you go. Table is shaking. You can't see it. If we get any movement from the table, Chris, concentrate on the table, not on faces, please. Okay. Now we've got some contact. One hand on the glass, one hand on the table. Thank you for coming towards us. Thank you for talking to us. Please, can you introduce yourself? Can't see. What's that? M. Come on. M. What? M. X. M. X. M. Why, my? H. Who? O. M. E. My home. Okay, this is your home. Your home. Can you tell us who you are? Tell us your name, please. Your name. G. What's that E? Continue. Continue. God, it's very strong. Go on. Keep going. Go on, Les. Why is she prancing like a pony? We are. What? We are the doors closed. Have you tried to open it? No. Try and open it. Oh! It's me! What? What? I never see it! What are you doing? What are you doing? No, 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 no. Can't run too quick because the cable's... I can't keep going on. Is the door locked? Is it locked? The fucking door, oh, excuse me, the door's locked. Right, hang on a sec. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm just trying to pull this cable through. Mm. There's what? There's something on this stair. Oh, get lost. No, there's, there's, oh, there's no, there's no, shit. Shit. Shh, shh. no shit. There was right, all oh, right, I know. Okay, let's just say there's someone looking down on us. Fantastic. But let's just sort the door out first. Can somebody please pull the cable? Because I can't do the camera and pull right, the cable. Right, right, right. right, thank you. Just pull it, pull it, Kat. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Right. right hang that on. door's absolutely solid. See, see, it's <gasps> You've got bloody joking. And my torch keeps going. And something else, my talk back and my ear doing? thing, I can't, everything's cracking up and going. Is now that, look. I didn't pull that. You know, somebody's pulling this cable back. Shit, 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 shit. shit. Look. We're okay. We're okay, we'll be all right. Okay, right. Somebody do me a favour. What? I'll come over there. That's all right. I don't know if you can see me. Uh, Carl, just letting you know that we are trapped in the cellar. The door has slammed shut and we cannot get out, okay? I'm just letting you know, um, and I'm very aware that we're stood <gasps> underneath the staircase in case anything is thrown, but we can't get out. Do, do, you, want, uh, do you want me to come up there and try and get you out? Uh, yes, please, like now. Um, okay, I'll be there right now. Look, look, look. What, what? There's what? a figure keeps leaning over the banister. Where, where, where? Uh, up here, second floor, not next floor, the next one up. Oh, I can't see anything. <laughs> oh my god! Get us out! Get us out! No! Get us out! Get us out! Get us out! Get us out. But, uh, at home, we just heard a very, very deep. <sighs> we are again! Shh! 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 You bastard! Better than frightening women, clear off! You idiot! Listen, there's something moving in I know, I know. It'll be calm. It'll be calm. to get us. It can't be moving in that corridor. Yeah, bloody hell, not you! Okay, 
What have you seen now? Just here. What was it? Yeah, just movement here, just shadow movement here. But there's it's no the one same here. one again, Carl, that we saw? Yeah, but it was, it was quicker. It was actually moving here. But it's by the door, and I've just listen, come through the door. Slam a door or move something, make a noise with your voice. If you mean us harm and you want us to leave, then do something now. Did you hear that? Yeah. Did you get it? Yeah. Did you get it? Please tell me you've got that. Please tell me. Oh, shit, they didn't hear it. I heard it. Oh, my God. Matt heard it. Tony in sound. If Matt heard it, can you not hear it? It might have been too faint for him. Oh, bollocks. Excuse my French, but I didn't. Oh. Could you do it again? There is a shadow. Yes. I'm looking at it. I'm looking at it. I can't move. Over the in the corridor, oh. there is a shadow in that last room. Oh my God, I can't in see that it. Last room. Are you okay, Kat? Are you okay, Leslie? I'm not really. No, I'm yeah, still not to about from earlier. I've been looking at it like a. You're right. a child oh. frightened of well, I've got the camera okay. fixed on it now. So. Mm -hmm. right. I'm trying not to be frightened, but I can't help it. Deep breath. Really if something jumps out of me now, I will die. Oh, no, you won't. You won't. You won't. No, I will. no, I'll be okay. By Kieran as well, that there are bats upstairs. Hi, Kieran. Hi, just to remind you that there are bats above you. We've seen them again on CCTV, above you on the second floor. Thank you so much for that, Kieran. I don't know whether I probably wish that you hadn't said anything. Okay. Right, should we do a little call out, guys? Okay. Matt, where are you? You come stand right by me. Okay, everybody stand still. If there's anybody here that... Okay, stay there. Stay there. How many of you are here? feet. Matt, bring the microphone right in to where our feet are. Okay. Do you mean us harm? Two for yes, one for no. So all of you mean us harm. There can be one talking to us, surely. The person who's talking to us, are you a man? Yes. Okay. Is your name Vaughan? Yeah, but if it means it's harm, oh, I'm just supposing yeah. if it means it's harm, would it not give us a Oh, sorry, Carl. So I'll turn my mind off. Okay. Mine's off. Leslie, um, we're getting a communication 
um, through uh, with the knocking. Um, somebody that's saying that they mean us harm. I've asked is the name Vaughan. Um, he is saying that he's a man and he's saying no. Can you give me another name please? Or perhaps Chris could possibly uh, give it. So, that's in the other room. Um, I'd like to give you the name Campbell, please. You can ask that, please. Okay. That's in the other room. Okay. Is your name Campbell? No. It's going to be in the other room. room. I heard that. You won't have picked that up because we were concentrating on the knocking, weren't we, Matt? Okay. But it was, it was a... Uh, okay. Is that you, George? That All right. Through here, guys, yeah? Yes, yeah, so it has uh, Leslie uh, saying no to the name Campbell. Well, um, I'm being told here by Chris that the name is... It's not in here, is it? We need more. Still. Right, stand still. Okay. Chris, go down to the floor, go down on the floor, go down on the floor where Matt's feet are. Keep still. Is there a woman present here? Come towards us, this lady who is here now. I know there's a lady present here. I want you to walk towards us, whoever you are. Come towards us now. Come towards us now, this lady. Come towards me. Make your presence known to us. I want to hear your voice. Make a noise with your voice, please. There's two, there's two different ones. Is there a man here? O M E, my home. Okay, this is your home. Your home. Can you tell us who you are? Tell us your name, please. Your name. G. What's that E? Continue. Continue. God, it's very strong. T. G O T. G O T O. U. Kieran, are you making T? Get out. Okay, we're not leaving. If you want us to get out, you have to make us get out. Do you understand? 
We're not leaving. We're not going anywhere. You have to make us get out. P. S. R. 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 Oh, me. Okay. Okay, well, you will have to make us get out. What does that mean, you pointing at me? Don't just point at me. Give me a message. Give me a message. Tell me something. L. E. A. Blimey. V. Ooh, e. Leave. Leave. Leave, okay. Who are you? Tell me your name. Tell me your name, please. Tell me your name. Tell me your name. Please tell me your name. I wish to talk to you. Tell me your name, please. Tell me your name. I don't mean you any harm. Come and talk to us. The table's shaking. It is. We don't mean you any harm. I don't mean you any disrespect. We just want to talk to you. No matter what you've done, please tell us, good or bad, just tell us your name, please. Tell us your name. Do you know what I can smell? I really, you know, like old men, you know, that unwashed. Mm. Yeah. No, just like old men. Um, what's it doing? It's doing the figure of eight. Oh, so it's All spotted. Yeah. Okay. I am well protected. We are.